good evening, Super Humans. It is uh, June 11th. This is EA Sports here with Britt, and we're doing this week's uh, Super Human vlog to give you guys some updates and talk about what's going on in the uh, Super Human Humanverse. Um, so <laughs> with that, I think we got, I don't know, eight or 10 updates. Uh, maybe kicking things off for us. Wanted to just recap the community call this past week. I think we had awesome attendance. Uh, we had over 15 people join. I know a couple people from the UMA team joined and talked through a lot of the uh, upcoming and ongoing initiatives, both from a campaign perspective and within the superhuman community as well. So um, a handful of quick current campaign updates for the group. Uh, Clayton brought the idea of working with someone who already has some ongoing stuff in Perlin uh, to a upcoming call. And that way we can brainstorm and help think through kind of future ideas and the best way to use uh, KPI options moving forward. Um, in addition to that, we have uh, a couple somewhat unique integrations uh, with Zapper and Zerian, where it's not kind of a campaign to, to talk through net new KPI, op KPI options opportunity, but more so to uh, have our voice be heard and, and make sure all UMA integration for all synthetics are listed there. So I know we have a lot of users in the community for those uh, tools, and I think it'd be awesome to be able to have that reflected in our wallets and dashboards and things of that nature moving forward. So I think be on the lookout. I know Britt had a poll out that we were trying to finalize some times and get us. In addition, a bunch of other people working on the, the campaigns in a little bit, we'll talk about the future KPI option, but uh, with that being integration focused, want to make sure everyone's really plugged in, contributing, helping out. I know we have ongoing efforts with StakeDAO, Badger, Yam, Metafactory, um, shout out to Hags, Project Equal, a handful of others who are really helping drive uh, some of those forward. And uh, I think it's a cool opportunity, both from a community uh, interaction perspective, but also helping kind of us reach some of the broader goals that we're aiming for. And then finally, if you haven't done it yet, uh, I know we talked about kind of another campaign with the uh, YAM uh, uni integration as well. So uh, we're delegating all of our available uni to fed us. So if you have not done that, there's a post, there's a highlight about that, check that out. And hopefully that'll help us get through the first couple stages to that uh, next vote there. I think you wanted to talk a little bit about uh, kind of the next KPI option. Yeah, so our next KPI option is on integration. So all of these that we're working on now will count um, and the more the merrier. So uh, the goal is just to get people to try things on UMA platform. So um, the KPI option for UMA is in draft stage right now, hoping to have it finalized by the end of this month um, to coordinate timing with the ex expiry of the one that we already have. Um, so just keep the momentum going on the integrations front because it's going to pay off. This one is going to be cool. Um, so that is kind of the teaser for the UMA KPI option. Cool. Yeah, I'm excited about that. I think another thing that'll hopefully help contribute to future integrations there, cool, more cool ideas that maybe will have an impact on that in the future is the upcoming hackathon. I know there's been uh, a lot of conversation about what that can look like, how we can help contribute, both if if anyone has ideas or has you know time and effort to help coordinate and support. Uh, I thought it was really cool as well that the the team who's helping host some of that um, kind of made that exception where they typically don't do that and is allowing a, a lot of us from the super human community to help support and kind of be part of the team throughout that process. So I know I'm looking forward to doing so. If you haven't signed up yet, you know feel free to post that you're interested. And I think there were some messages that went out today actually that. Um, kind of provided some updates on how to get plugged in, what we can do, and kind of hopefully brainstorm and have some cool outcomes coming out of that. In addition, I mean, I think from the the innovation side, I think that's awesome. There's also like some, you know, financial incentive there, potential rewards, uh, UMA is sponsoring some pieces of that. And I haven't been part of a hackathon before, so I think it'll be a cool experience to kind of check it out and see what it's all about and learn from it as well. Yeah, I haven't either, but um, it does sound at the very least like a cool learning experience, um, which is why I signed up. Um, so yeah. if you are interested at all, even if you don't think you're qualified, or even if you don't think you have a lot of time, you should reach out to Chandler or Vari and just see if there's any kind of support role or anything, any way that you can like dip your toes in. I think it will be well worth it for um, anybody and everybody who does. So um, that is that bit on the hackathon. Um, the other or next, I guess, thing uh, this week is that Chandler put up a pretty cool tutorial on how to um, sort of navigate through GitHub, uh, which is pretty relevant for like uploading your UMIPS um, or 
for coaching others on how to upload their UMIPs and submit a pull request and that whole um, process uh, for for newbies who don't who don't necessarily know or have the tech savvy to do it in the past. Um, I went through it myself and was able to figure it out and I'm happy to help anybody who needs it, but his tutorial is a good place for us to start and for others um, if they need that additional help. Um, also this week, I put out a poll to try and narrow down our charities. Um, we had eight that we were considering for our charity chain, um, which is going to be an event where we all take a chunk of money and pass it on from one to another. And then at the end of that, we uh, are going to donate it to a charity that we all agreed on. Um, good news is people are excited. Bad news is we're still neck and neck. We need you guys to go vote. Um, if I can't get any more votes out of you, I'm going to have to host another vote with only our top three candidates to try and narrow that down a bit. But um, it would be cool if we could announce the winner on our uh, upcoming community call and talk about next steps for that. But go yeah, vote. Yeah, I'm excited. I'll throw my personal plug for Pencils of Promise. Otherwise, we'll try and convince Clayton maybe to do another one of these if it's going to be tough to get the, uh, the, the clear winner. But I think, I think that'll be I think you and I were on opposing teams. I voted for the one... Um, the girl coding <laughs> one, just because Man, I, okay. I'm a girl who wishes I could code more than I can. We got opposing yes. uh, opposing interests here being promoted on the weekly video. <laughs> yes, go vote for either Team Brit or for Team Eric. There we go. Sounds good. Um, well, speaking of teams, I know there's been a lot of cool like uh, swag updates from Fruity Cups voted stickers, and there's extra ones of those right now. So if you haven't seen it, definitely reach out to him. I think he was. And it's on a first come first serve basis, but we'll distribute those to people who are interested. Um, I know there has been, you know, hoodie and shirt designs, which has been awesome. I, I've seen a couple of people kind of replying and winning some things based on quizzes and questions, as well as kind of voting on some of the most popular designs. So whether it's with Metafactory or through um, some of the back end that we're already working with, I think it'll be really cool to see some Uma swag out in the wild in the real world and, and people be able to enjoy that too. And then finally, shout out to uh, Surf Apollo for the uh, uh, proof of attendance protocol stuff you guys have been doing. I saw today Surf uh, did a kind of redesign of the Lego Uma person, some new images there, as well as uh, Pope for the uh, university course as well, Britt. So you tell us a little bit about what's going on there. Yeah, and I asked for that design too. I'm glad that they went with uh, with my request of chicken with a grad cap. <laughs> Um, so that's going to be for anybody who finishes. Um, it started this week. Um, I don't think it's too late to start. It's kind of a self-paced course, and we're all just doing it at the natural pace that they recommend, uh, which is over the course of eight weeks. Um, it so far has been pretty smooth and easy and not super time-consuming. So even if you only have um, over the course of a week, maybe like an extra 30 to 45 minutes, um, it would be awesome to... Um, take that on and learn more about just how contracts work. Um, and we kind of have been discussing on the side some of how that relates to the DeFi space, specifically since everything is smart contract. Um, and so it's so far been really fun, really great participation. Uh, and then we have a chat on the university channel um, where people have been kind of like discussing their answers and um, proposing thought questions. So it is so far very awesome. If you haven't signed up, I would recommend it. It's not too late and you'll get a cool chicken pope at the end. Yeah, I got some uh, homework to do to catch up this weekend on making sure I get chicken pope. But I agree the conversation has been cool and just kind of refreshing and interesting from your own like day to day and perspective to see what other people are thinking through and their thought process on it. So I think it'll be a fun experience. Definitely. Cool. Well, with that, everyone, I think we covered like eight or nine updates uh, this week. Lots of things going on and, you know, can, hopeful that we continue to see some of this activity ramp up further with the integrations moving into the next KPI option. Hope everyone has a great weekend. Uh, thanks, Britt, for joining me today. Hope you guys got some yep. value and enjoyed this and uh, thanks, community call this week. Thanks, everyone. Take care.